Power Rangers Beast Morphers is the 21st iteration of Power Rangers. 22nd, if you count Hyperforce and... What? I don't have the Power Rangers Beast Morphers toys? It's been like, like what? Six months since they've been released? Like why? Hmm. All right, well, I got one other option. Power Star, lock in. Ready. Ninja, spin. That's right guys, after like two years of waiting, I'm finally going to do the Power Rangers Ninja Steel tutorial. Uh, I've only filmed this like 800 times within the past like two years and just like have never liked it. So here we go, let's get started on the shots that you'll need. It's a majority of just like wide shot of you doing the morph, but for the visual effects, you're gonna need close-ups. One of holding your morpher, doing the whole plugging it into the thing. And by the way, you don't need the Japanese toy in order to do this morph. You can do it with the American toy. It's not horrible. It's pretty bad, actually. It's not good. It's not. This is way cooler, in my opinion. So also, you'll need a close-up shot of the morpher just sitting there uh, doing nothing. You don't even need to record it uh, moving anywhere. You can literally just take a still frame and it'll it'll be fine. That's what I do. That's what the show does. So like follow what the show does and just like take a screenshot of this and just leave it be. Guys, this effect is super simple and beginners can do it no problem. Uh, so here we go. You also don't need to use After Effects. You can use any editing software that you have. As long as you have multiple layers in your editing software, you can do this with anything. I highly recommend using HitFilm Express. It's a free compositing and editing software. It's super powerful and it's free. So if you guys uh, want to check out HitFilm Express, you guys can check it out in the description. Um, they aren't a sponsor or a partner or anything. I just really uh, support what they're doing, bringing powerful editing and compositing software to the masses for free. Check them out. Again, not a sponsorship, but hit film, hit me up. Before you do anything, you're going to want to duplicate your footage. You're gonna to wanna to mask out your hand and the power star as it goes into the morpher. Once you're done masking out your arm and the power star, you're gonna to wanna to keyframe animate the mask at least 12 frames on the end of the video clip. So as soon as the power star goes in, you're gonna to wanna to go 12 frames and then uh, make sure your mask is still okay. Go in between and make sure your mask is okay. Just make sure every frame your hand is still inside the mask and the power star is also inside the mask the mask doesn't have to be perfect it just has to be good enough for this effect to work and honestly just feathering the crap out of the mask works just fine and then once you have that done you're going to want to add a black solid or whatever it's called in the editing software that you're going to be using and then add a lens flare i'm personally going to be using optical flares because i find that they're Flare selection is just amazing. Like generic flares on compositing softwares are always just like boring and it's like, oh, 50 millimeter look for like when you point at the sun. And it's like, but the cinematic lens flares on optical flares are so beautiful, I gotta use them. You're also gonna wanna animate the brightness of the lens flare to go on and off when the star goes in. Then just switch the layer to an add blending mode and then boom, look at that, you got, a glow coming from the morpher as you put the power star in. That's exactly what happens in the show, guys. It's crazy. The next shot is a little bit more intuitive, but it's not complicated. So what you're gonna wanna do is take your screenshot of your morpher, just with the power star in it, just hanging out. And then you're gonna wanna take one of these uh, PNGs of the power stars that I actually have a link in the description so you can download them and then use them yourself. They're literally the photos that they had on Amazon and I just like cut out the white. I have every power star, I believe. I don't think I have gold, but nobody has the gold morpher. Unless you're using the American toy, then you do have the gold morpher and I should shut up. So you're gonna take that image of the power star and then drag it over your footage. You're gonna scale it and make sure it matches your footage. You may also wanna color correct the star in order for it to match your scene better. You don't have to do this, but I did it just to be cool. And then you're just gonna go down to the rotation and then just spin the crap out of that thing. And then I'll just add on motion blur, add on a glow, and then throw on a lens flare behind it because who cares, why not? And then boom, that's the effect. So that was the video guys. Uh, were you one of the hundreds of people who asked me 
to do this effect? Were you one of the hundreds of people who asked me to do this effect for them? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, what other effects would you like me to do? It's not only Power Ranger stuff that I can do, guys. I can uh, try to figure out as many effects as you guys want um, within reason. I can't show you how to make Iron Man because that's all CGI now. I can't, yeah. Um, maybe Captain America's shield. I really want to like try out that effect, but I need to get uh, Captain America's shield. Also, guys, I have a Patreon now. If you don't want to do this effect, go to my Patreon page and I have a download link to a, a version of this effect already done. And all you need to do is drag and drop it in your editing software. There's a tutorial on how to do that too on my Patreon. So guys, if you want to support me and help me get maybe a Captain America shield, go to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Seth Films. It's there, but you'll need an editing software that allows like transparent videos. So Premiere, I think Vegas does it too. HitFilm does it. So again, download HitFilm, plug, plug, plug. I'm leaving now. I'm, I'm just done with this video, guys.